Let me tell you a story. Many years ago, a woodcutter is looking for a job. And he eventually finds a job with a boss who's really good and also good working conditions. So he gets to work. The boss takes him to a section of the woods and shows him where he has to cut the trees. He's feeling enthusiastic and he says that, you know, I have to impress the boss. So he gets to work and he works really hard and he cuts down 10 trees. He's feeling good about the work that he has done and he goes and informs the boss that boss, you know, I've cut 10 trees. The boss is also impressed and is very appreciative. Now he's feeling really energized and he thinks to himself that I have to do good work every day. So he decides that he's going to do even better the next day. So he sets up and next day he gets to work and he starts cutting trees and he's working very hard. But by the end of the day, he's able to cut only eight trees. So he's disappointed. But he doesn't give in to the disappointment. He gives himself a pep talk and tells himself that, you know, it's okay. I'm going to make up for this tomorrow. So the next day he wakes up early in the morning. He eats good breakfast, you know, gets ready exercises and he goes and he gets to work. But today he's able to cut only six trees. Now he's starting to feel really dejected. And he also realizes that he has to inform the boss. So he goes up to the boss and tells him uh, very apologetically that boss, you know, I have only been able to cut eight trees yesterday and six trees today. Boss is really very calm. He looks at the woodcutter and he asks him one question. The question is, when was the last time that you sharpened your axe? The woodcutter is a little surprised by the question. He thinks for a moment and he says, it's been about a week since I last sharpened my axe. Now you probably know where the story is going. Most of us behave like the woodcutter. We know that we have a lot of work to do and we just get to work, making the assumption and hoping that we'll keep getting better with every passing day without really investing in sharpening our axe. But as the days pass, we start to get tired, we start to procrastinate and our productivity drops. And when this happens, rather than thinking about sharpening our axe, we start doubting ourselves and we start wondering if we have the capability and the talent that is required to do the work that we set out to do. While in reality, you haven't invested the time in understanding how to manage your time, your energy, as well as your mind. Participating in this masterclass is the same as sharpening your axe. You will learn strategies, concepts and mindsets that will help you to perform at peak levels every day. When you start applying the things that you learn diligently, you will start seeing a big difference in the way you perform on a daily basis. You will get much more done without putting in more effort and in fact feeling more energized at the end of each day. Remember that your mind will come up with a hundred excuses as to why you need not attend this live masterclass. You may want to actually continue watching the Netflix or go out with friends or just do random scrolling through the phone. You may even tell yourself that, you know, I'll do this later. And eventually you will go back to living your life the way you have always been doing. But let that not be you. The 90 minutes that you spend participating in this live masterclass is an investment that you're making in yourself to change the way you work and to change the results that you generate in your life. To live a life of intention and enjoyment. So make a commitment right now to attend this masterclass live. Block your calendar, inform your family, friends or colleagues or anybody who needs to know that you are not going to be available for these 90 minutes on Saturday. I'd really look forward to seeing you. Super excited. Let me know in the comments whether you're going to be there by typing committed. See you soon.